Hold on a second. Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, this is Brad by Fitness and today we're in the garage doing some training. Um, today is May 10th um, and we are doing a heavier squat day. Um, the squat variation today is a good morning. So not really a squat, but um, I like the way that it feels and you know, we're hitting that, uh, that posterior chain real good. Uh, we're going to move up to a heavy triple today on, on the good mornings and then the, uh, the winning warm up. They are going to do, um, I'm reading the board, looking off camera here, sled pull. Uh, we're going to do four plates today with the sled pull. We're doing leg extensions, leg curls, and seated row. So you can see the heavy emphasis on the leg training. And then I want to make sure we're working a lot of the back stuff too. So throwing uh, back variations into the day um, is, is pretty critical. I have a feeling that the, the four plate sled pull is going to wreck, wreck feelings today. Um, but that's what we're up to. We're going to get in, we're going to do the warm up. So check that out. And then, like I said, we're going to do some good mornings. So if you're not familiar with that workout, we're going to talk about it a little bit too, and I'll show you the setup and kind of talk it through so that hopefully if it's a, if it's a workout that you're unfamiliar with, uh, maybe you'll get some familiarity and, and use it in your own routine. So, um, with that, let's go ahead and get after it and we'll see you on the other side. Ah. Ooh. What do you think? What do you think about the 100 pounds? 100, wait, what 100 pounds? The 100 pounds that's on there. That's not 100 pounds. That's 100 pounds. Nuh-uh. Oh, no, it's not 100 pounds. No, liar. It, we'll treat it like it's 100 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> it's not being. It's 180 pounds. I'm getting it, I'm trying. I don't know why I was thinking like four plates, 100 pounds, I don't know, it's just dumb. He's special. Eyes not thinking. What are you stopping for? There's no stopping. <laughs> not stopping. There's no brakes. Nobody's harder than me. I'm a breaker of chains. I'm living it free. Trust what I said and not what you see. Nobody keep it in order like me. I'm be a beast and I'm out in the wild. The girl in my eye and I'm on it right now. That's a vow when I gotta get it. The victory's mine. You trying to compete. It's best to pass. I from the bottom but now I'm in front of the line. I'm not in front of the haters. I turn into motivators. I don't hold up no favors and any beef and get catered. I'm on my way. Doing my flex. Checks. I got the power, give me respect. I live this life and on to the next. Give me respect. I live this life and on to the next. Give me respect. I live this life and on to the next. I flex different than the boys that have been down the strong. You just buy a will of cuts and money on his fortune loan. But I'ma give my bag and pay. It don't matter what you want. Make sure you check yourself. Talk about me, what you talking about. Okay, so we're getting set up here with the good mornings. And so Seth, run us through where you're at for your setup here. I mean, you want your feet about where you do with your squat. 
a little, I get a little bit lighter than shoulder width. Nice steady bar, bend at the waist, chest out, touch, and up. All right, cool. Cool. Um, so for you guys at home, what we're doing to kind of help ourselves with a little bit of a cue, as you can see, we have the strap. Um, so I'm having them come down to the strap and having it there also as kind of a safety feature. That way we don't have to worry about anyone dropping and failing or whatever. Um, Seth, he, you know, he was saying shoulder width on the feet position. Um, I tend to go maybe even just a little bit more narrow on my foot position. Just understand wherever you're, wherever you kind of elect for your foot position, it's going to subtly change how it affects the muscle groups, right? So um, if you tend to go a little bit wider on your foot position with a good morning, it's going to kind of work more of the inside of the posterior chain, right? So more the, the, inner, um, the inner portion of the thigh and hamstring. And if you go a little bit more narrow, you're going to bring more of the, 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 outer, um, the outer hamstring into it, <clears throat> just kind of by, by virtue of how the muscles work. Um, but it is good to, to kind of vary up the, the foot position too. Um, I wouldn't vary up the foot position in this particular workout, set by set by set, um, but I might vary it up workout by workout. So maybe one workout have a more of a narrower, narrower position and another workout do more of a wide position um, and just kind of change that up. Um, but tend to keep the bar kind of high on the, on the, on the shoulders, more of the high bar position. Um, that way it, it just increases the moment arm and just makes it a little bit more, more difficult um, as you bend. And then, you know, ensuring that good strong brace, right? So maintaining that abdominal brace is gonna be hyper important here. I wouldn't recommend going very heavy on good mornings without a belt, um, just so that you can make sure that you maintain that abdominal pressure. Um, and then you always wanna make sure that you control the bar too. So make sure that you're, you're actively gripping that bar and pulling it down. Um, because as you're bending forward, um, you can have a tendency to lose control of the bar and have that bar right up the back of your neck, which is unpleasant. Um, <clears throat> so that's what, we, that's what we have for the setup. Um, we're working with a squat bar today. Uh, so we can see we have this big, big center neural for us to, to have that grip on the back, um, as well as you know some room for me and my shoulders to be able to have that wide grip position. Although with the straps here, I may elect to go more narrow than I would ordinarily prefer um, just so that my, my arms don't get in the way of straps. Um, bend down, touch the strap and back up. Again, going for a heavy triple today. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, haven't stereotypically gone super heavy on uh, good mornings in a very long time. Uh, I do remember in my, in my youth, you know, getting up into the 600 pound range with good mornings. Um, but that was, you know, back when I was like 19, 20. Um, so I don't know what today will yield. But just do the best we can and, uh, and get after it. So the setup is the way we want it now, and it's just a matter of adding the weight. So let's get after it. Here we go. All right, so quick alibi. I did say that I'd explain a little bit more about the good morning for those of you that may not be familiar, and then I realized that I didn't really describe how to do the movement. So uh, the pick is, is just the same as a normal squat, right? So get up under the bar, stand straight up, get your position right. So again, wherever you like, if you're going a little bit wider or a little bit narrower, I tend to prefer having my hips or my, my legs right underneath my hips. And so what ends up happening is that you have that bar, you know, and you're holding it. Um, again, controlling that bar to make sure it doesn't roll as you begin to bend. Now the, the bending, right? What you're going to do is kind of a pronounced, like stick the butt out. So there, there will end up being a slight bend to your knees, but you're not squatting in the traditional sense. So as you, as you begin to, to descend, you're pushing that butt out and bending at the waist, right? So you can see I do have a little bit of a bend in my knees, but it's not a squat. Bend, touch, and up. You really don't want to exceed parallel. Parallel is probably all the further you're going to be able to go down, and I, I really wouldn't recommend going any further than parallel. What I mean by parallel is that your, your upper body, your torso, is parallel to the, the ground. So you don't, want to, you don't want to go any further than that, uh, because if you, if you go past parallel, well then you're going to be kind of an upside down position, the bar really is going to want to roll down your back. But as long as you maintain that parallel position, the bar is not going to roll too, too much as long as you control it. Um, so I just want to make sure that I, I kind of talked over the finer points of the good morning. So maintain that good abdominal brace the whole time, you know, push that butt back. Um, if you're unaccustomed to it, you can do something like um, what they call like wall touches, where if you stand away from an object and reach back to touch your butt against that, that object, that's that motion. So bending at the hip, pushing the butt back, and then bending forward, 
and then up. That's you get you get familiar with that movement, and that's that's more or less how the the good morning is accomplished, and then back to a full upright position for however many reps that you're going to do. Um, so yeah, hopefully that is a little bit more clear than the first one. That's all. Yeah. <laughs>
but rather that they're there as a catch-all in the event of a, of a failure or whatever. So um, when we did that, he started performing the movement much better. And then Nat had an issue where she was moving a little bit more in, the, in that thoracic. So as she bent, right, so instead of keeping that chest high and that back locked in and going through the range of motion like this, what she started to do was, was okay. cave, right? So giving up position to that thoracic spine, which is not what we want. And again, it was an effort to try to get the, the, the depth mm -hmm. that she wanted, right? So she wanted to get a little bit more range of motion, but she started giving up that position in that thoracic. Well, clearly, if you get, start giving up and, and creating motion in that thoracic when you're loaded with a you know a couple hundred pounds or, or whatever, more weight than you would normally have, let's just say that, um, it opens up the door for a potential injury, especially when you're creating move, uh, motion and movement in that thoracic spine with that, that, uh, that moment arm loaded. Um, there's just a high potential for injury. So really don't want to create any movement with that thoracic. We want to make sure that that upper back remains locked tight. One of the things that I think helps me, and just food for thought for you guys, is my positioning. So a lot of people talk, when, when they talk squats, they talk about packing in, getting your arms as close as possible to create a nice tight shelf. Well, so what I want you to pay attention to as I do this is watch what happens with my chest. So if I'm packed in like this versus if I move my arms out. So do you see what happened with my chest? So packed in versus moving my arms out, right? So moving my arms out automatically lifts my chest. And so what I'm thinking about when I, when I, when I do my good mornings is I'm thinking about keeping that chest high and back. One, it'll, it'll help me control any potential motion that I get in that thoracic spine by, by mitigating that. And then two, it helps me, helps me with bar control. So that if I, if I start to th uh, cave in that, that thoracic, the, it creates a low point and the bar, just like water, yeah. wants to run to the low point. <laughs> so it helps me with bar control as well. So just a couple of quick tips uh, of things that I saw with the lifters today that may provide some measure of benefit for you in consideration for the, the performance of the movement in your own training methodology or your own training program. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of illuminate the, the good morning, talk about what we did, and then give you some kind of tips on the backside. So hopefully you guys will be a little bit more proficient with the, the performance of the movement. And again, this is a really, really great movement that I highly recommend. It's very beneficial for increasing your squat, very beneficial for increasing your deadlift as well by helping to put a little extra emphasis on that posterior chain. Um, anything from you guys? Anything else to add? Mm -hmm. No. no. I kind of ran away with the end of it, didn't I? No, you didn't. I got to talking. You did good. All right. Um, yeah, so anyway, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop in the chat box below. I will respond. And if you have any other questions about the good morning that I might be able to help out with, I'd be glad to. Um, and yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I appreciate everything that you guys do for the channel and continue to support me with all the likes, the shares, the subs means the world, channel continues to grow, and I really do appreciate it. If you happen to know anyone else whom these videos might also benefit that I don't know, I would appreciate it if maybe you send them a link or show it to them, um, whatever. You got a buddy over the house, pull up one of the videos and, and show it to them, that'd be great. Um, MPs are rolling by slow, I think so. Twice. That's twice now. I think he's after us. Oh no, he's after these, run away! He's after these gains. He can't have these gains, dog. No, he can't. Yeah, speaking of gains, you got to get in and train a spike, guys. You're either going to find an excuse or you're going to find a way. And I hope that you guys continue to find the way. I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> She's so angry.